how's everyone doing on today let's go ahead and go right into our next set so now I have my 10 double crochets going around this sits right at the top of my hips remember if you need to make some more stitches please do so and you have 113 divided by 2 go ahead and place your stitch marker in the 57th place and we know that is our halfway point so now let's continue on with our rows we're now going into row 11 and this is an increase row so go ahead and slip stitch into that first stitch and chain two do not turn your work immediately go back into that same stitch with two double crochets and make one double crochet going around until you reach your stitch marker okay so now we're at the stitch marker when you get to your stitch marker you're going to place two double crochets into that same stitch where your stitch marker was and then go ahead and place your stitch marker back into that stitch now just continue on making one double crochet going all the way around even when you get to your pattern you're not going to repeat the pattern just make a double crochet and i'll meet you at the end of the row okay so we're at the end of the row and just like before go ahead and slip stitch into that first stitch in the row and chain two so now we're stepping into row 12 which is a non-increase row we are only going to increase every other row so when you make your first row of increase in your next row you're going to just make one double crochet going all the way across all the way around including when you get to that stitch marker so when you get to your stitch marker you just put one double crochet into each of those spaces each of those double crochets and then replace your stitch marker back so continue making your double crochets going around i doubt if you need me for this part so i'm going to meet you when i get back to the end don't forget when you get to that stitch marker you're going to make one double crochet in each of those stitches i'll be back okay so i'm at the end of the row and now we're stepping into an increase row which is round 13. i keep saying rows but we're going in the round so go ahead and slip stitch into the first stitch and chain two now just like in the previous increase row we're going to make two double crochets into the first stitch and then one double crochet around it's just keeping it simple for these few rows where we are increasing so once you make your two double crochets go ahead and make one double crochet in each stitch going around when you get to your stitch marker you're going to make two double crochets into that stitch as well so make sure to remember to put two double crochets into that stitch there where you have your stitch marker and then replace your stitch marker back. So I'm going to keep going and I'll be back. So I'm at the end of my row and now you should have 117 double crochets going around. We started with 113 and increased every other row. So now you should have 117. If your garment is larger, then of course you would have the double of the number that you have because we increased twice with four double crochets with two extra double crochets so you should have 117 double crochets when you get to this portion okay so let's continue on we're stepping into the next row go ahead and slip stitch into the first stitch and chain two So we are no longer increasing, we're just making double crochets going all the way around. Go ahead and make one double crochet into that first stitch and then all the way around until you reach your stitch marker. We're no longer going to increase, but we will be adding more rows until we get down closer to the crotch area so that uh, it will fit properly. So as you can see from my garment here, as I said before, I have 117 double crochets going around that includes my pattern in the front we're no longer going to increase but we are going to add more rows i'm going to add about five more rows to my garment so that it can fit properly okay so we're still in row 14 go ahead and begin your work and 
make your double crochets going across i'm going to make one double crochet into each stitch across we're going to change it up a bit and change it up in the front when we get to that pattern portion in the front of our garment so just keep making your double crochets all the way across until you get to that stitch marker when you get to the stitch marker again make one double crochet and continue on when we get closer to our pattern we're going to go ahead and continue the pattern in the same form that we did at the top portion of our garment so now that we're closer to where that so we'll begin making our pattern. I'm going to finish up with these double crochets here from your stitch marker up until we begin our pattern. You're going to make 14 double crochets going across. And this is after your stitch marker. So you're going to count 14 double crochets. And then once you get to that 15th double crochet, you're going to make a front post double crochet. We're just repeating the pattern that we have in our top portion just to give it a little bit of flair. So once you put your front post double crochet, you're going to then make two double crochets, one double crochet in the next two stitches, and then make another front post double crochet. Again, we're just repeating what we have up at the top. So once you've made those two double crochets, go ahead and make that front post double crochet and then one double crochet into the next four double crochets just like we did in the previous rows for the top part so this is one two three four now once you've made your fourth double crochet go ahead and make another front post double crochet and then after your front post double crochet we're going to go into our repeat of our pattern just like before in the uh, top portion and make your one double crochet into the next three stitches and then another front post double crochet And then one double crochet into the next three stitches. Again, we're just repeating what we have in the top part. Now another three double crochets across. And then another front post double crochet. Now, if this is too fast, you can slow this down or pause it. I do have the words up at the top, so you can copy what I have here. Then go in with another three double crochets. One double crochet into the next three stitches. And then another front post double crochet. So as you can see, we're just repeating the pattern from the top portion of our work make those three double crochets and then make another front post double crochet and then make another three double crochets i should think this one is four okay no it's three and then they'll make another front post double crochet and then now you're going to make four double crochets across. So that's one double crochet into the next four stitches. And then a front post double crochet. And then two more double crochets in the next two stitches. One double crochet into the next two stitches. So now from here, you're just going to keep going and making your double crochets all the way across until you get to 
the end. So I'm going to keep going and I'll meet you when I get closer to the end of the row. Okay, so we're at the end of the row. Go ahead and slip stitch into that first stitch and chain two. Okay, so once you've made your slip stitch, we are now in row 15. So instead of going through both of our loops, we're just going to go into the back loop of our work and make a double crochet. So that's the back of your loop. And you're going to place your stitch marker, I mean your hook into that back loop there and make a double crochet. So you're going to make 55 double crochets going all the way across until you meet that, uh, until you get to that stitch marker. So one double crochet into the back loop of each of your double crochets from the previous row. You do not have to do this step if you don't want to. You can just make plain double crochets going through both of your loops. But I just decided to change it up just a little bit. This is the back portion. This is the back of the garment. So this is what are going to show up in kind of like the butt area. So just keep making your double crochets into this back loop here until we reach our stitch marker. You should have 55 double crochets into that back loop. So now that we've reached the back loop, go ahead and make a double crochet into the next 14 double crochets. Now I know I have that stitch marker there. I meant to remove that, but I will remove that once I'm done here. I'm going to make 14 double crochets going across. That should bring you back to the beginning of your work. So keep making these double crochets and I'll meet you when I get closer to the end. Remember, you're going to have 55 back post double crochets. I mean, back loop double crochets. And then after that, you will have 14 regular double crochets going into both of those loops. So when I get closer to the end, I will be back. Okay, so now when you get closer to your pattern, just go ahead and repeat your pattern from the previous row. Make that front post double crochet and then continue copying your pattern as you go along. There should be two double crochets after that front post double crochet and then another double, another front post double crochet. So just continue repeating that pattern and I will be back. So now when you get close to the end of the pattern, you've made all your front post double crochets and your double crochets, you're going to make 14 double crochets after that. So when you make your last front post double crochet, you should have 14 double crochets going across until you get to the end. Okay, so now I have... Um, you're going to repeat that for a total of six rows. If you need to do more rows, please go ahead and do that. As you can see, I have my stitch markers here. And I went ahead and divided 117 divided by 2. That gave me 58.5. And I put my stitch marker in the 59th place. Then I went ahead and divided that by 2 again. And that gave me... 29.25 and then I place my stitch marker in the 30th place. So now we're stepping into row 20. Go ahead and slip stitch and chain two. Slip stitch into your first stitch and chain two. Now we're going to begin working on the leg portion of this project. So I'm going to begin making my double crochets all the way across. You do not have to do any more back post double crochets or rather back loop double crochets, just plain double crochets going across. There's no increasing, just one double crochet into each stitch going across. And I'm going to meet you when I get right to the stitch marker. I'll be back. Okay, so now we're closer to the stitch marker. Now what you want to do is go ahead and put that double crochet, your final double crochet, into that last stitch where your stitch marker is and chain five. Now go ahead and remove your stitch marker. And 
and then make a double crochet into the same stitch where you had your stitch marker. This is the other side. Now just continue on with your double crochets, making sure when you get to your pattern, go ahead and follow your pattern. There's a front post double crochet and then one double crochet into the next three stitches across and just repeat going around with your pattern. So I'm going to keep going with my pattern and when I come back, I'm going to meet you when I get closer to the stitch marker. I'll be back. Okay, so I'm getting closer to that five chain we made previously. And now this is my last double crochet of this row. Double crochet, sorry. <laughs> okay, so now you're going to go into each of these next chains with one double crochet. And you should have five double crochets going across since we made five chains. You're not going to skip any stitches. Just make your five double crochets going across. And then when you make your five double crochets, just go ahead and continue on. So the next stitch is going to be a, well, this is the last one of the five chain. And now just continue on with your pattern. So now we're going to make three double crochets. And then just keep going all the way around. So now we're at the end of the row. Go ahead and slip stitch and chain two. And we're just going to keep repeating these rows. You make this as long as you want. We're actually going to flare it at the bottom. So I'm going to move on to the next side. Now we're moving on to the next side. I have my panel here. This is the, uh, we already did the left leg. Now we're going to do the right leg. So all you do is just grab your work and we're going to start off with those five double crochets are that I made on the other side and put one double crochet into each of those stitches. So just put your hook into that top stitch in the loop right there in the top stitch and go ahead and add your yarn and chain two. Now go back into that same space with a double crochet and make your double crochets going across. And again, just follow your pattern as you're going along. When you get to those, after you finish your five double crochets, you just keep making your way around. Um, I'm not going to make these legs too long just for this video, but at the end of the video, you will see it much longer and the bottom will be flared out. I'm also going to change colors as well. So just keep making your double crochets going all the way around, remembering to follow your pattern. And now we're at a section where we have to skip some stitches because these are the side uh, double crochets of the row and you want to miss those. So I'm just going to slip stitch into that one right there and then just continue on with my double crochets. Put two slip stitches in there in both those spaces and then continue on with your double crochets going around. And we've done that because that was the side of a row that does that is not included in with your double crochet so you want to slip stitch just to get that to close up a little bit so you're just going to keep going you don't have to do the back post uh the back loop double crochets just keep following your pattern and keep going along you can take your stitch markers out now because you don't need to keep track of that anymore so when you get to your pattern just keep repeating your pattern and making your way around to these stitches so you come to the other end so now I'm at the other end and again, I see some more stitches here that are from the side. Actually, this is a front post double crochet here. And then now go ahead and slip stitch again. We're just closing up those holes and then continue on. 
And now we're back at the beginning. Go ahead and slip stitch and chain two. And just keep going around in your rounds and making your double crochet going around. Remember to follow your pattern when you get to that portion. So I'm going to keep making these double crochets around and I'm going to show you what it looks like when I have a good decent amount of length. I'm not going to go all the way to the bottom just yet, but I just want to show you what this part looks like here. So I'm going to keep making my way around with these double crochets. You can follow your pattern if you want to. You don't have to. It's completely up to you. That's what I love about this pattern. It's very versatile and you can change it however you want. So I'm going to continue on making these stitches here and I will be back to show you what I have so far. Okay, so this is what she's looking like so far. This is the front of our jumpsuit, the top portion, and this is the middle and the bottom. So as you can see, I'm continuing with my front post double crochets. Let me show you what this crotch area looks like. That is what it should look like. When you're making your crotch area, you might have to chain more than five if you're a little bigger than I am. This is what the back looks like. And there's those back loop double crochets. Just a plain back area, nothing too fancy. So when I come back, I'm going to show you what I did with the leg portion. I made it much longer. And I'm going to show you a little detail that I made on the side of the project. So I wanted to show you what I did on the ends here. I went ahead and at a certain point, I think it was on row 32 from the top, I made a front post double crochet. Instead of slip stitching, I just went ahead and made a front post double crochet. So I did that on both of these sides here. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. I just figured it would look a lot better than a slip stitch. So I counted from the top here, made my way down to about 32 rows. And when I got to 32 rows, I started making my front post double crochets. So I'm going to continue making that. And when I come back, I will have everything taken care of. I will have my front post double crochets on to the side and most of the garment done. Um, so I'm going to finish up and keep coming down with my legs. These are the legs portion. So you can come down as far as you want to. And I will be back. So now before I show you what it looks like, I want to show you with this top portion, the portion that goes around your neck. I just made some strands here. I was going to add some buttons, but I think buttons are too restricting. So I just came around with some single crochets going all the way around my project, including in the back. When you get to the corners, you want to make three single crochets. And then I came down to the bottom where my legs were after I finished making as long as I needed to or as long as I wanted to and I made some single crochets going around just to finish it off so now that I've showed you what that looks like I'm going to show you what she looks like on my mannequin fully so you can get a better look of what it looks like when it's all done again I decided not to go too far down but it's at a nice length um the leg portion so let me show you what that looks like on our mannequin Okay, so this is what we have. This is our finished product. As you can see, I went all the way down. This reaches right below my shins, close to the ankle. I'm not very tall. This is what the side portion looks like. As you can see, those single crochets there. And there is the neck portion. Please excuse my little hook here. <laughs> I broke my mannequin a while ago, so I have to improvise when it comes to showing you guys things. But this is what she looks like. I think it came out really great. It fits me really nice. And you can always adjust it. If this pattern is too big or too small, you can always adjust it. So let's see what the back looks like. And as you can see, the back is nice and open. Now, I did have to fold it in the back because my mannequin... My mannequin, excuse me, is much smaller than myself. So I had to uh, fix that really quickly. But I think it came out really great. Go ahead and give this jumper a try, this jumpsuit a try. Make sure that you are measuring as you go along. Try it on and see what that looks like. So I want to thank you for watching this tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Can't I Handmade Crochet. Have an awesome, awesome day. Bye-bye.